folks, I'm here, Debert, your resident Afro nerd, here at the Alamo Draft House in Brooklyn, NYC, having just seen Glass, M. Night Shyamalan's Glass, a 20-year saga. What am I talking about? Well, many folks who are into the comic book superhero genre were highly impressed with the first effort going back to 2000. But that predates the whole superhero genre thing, the, the Dark Knight, Batman Begins, and of course Iron Man and the MCU. So, what really set it off? You might have to give it up to M. Night Shyamalan with his deconstruction of the superhero, making it into something that would happen. What would happen if a superhero actually existed in real time in our lives? That starts again in 2000. After someone like uh, Patton Oswalt, the comedian actor, put it out there in the stratosphere a few years ago as a joke, as a goof, it looks like it actually went down that way. That we had, uh, we, we had Unbreakable, then we had Split in 2016, and now we have Glass, this long-awaited trilogy, a 20-year orde ordeal, as I said. So what do I think? I went with the vaunted inner sanctum, my friends Marlon and Sally, and of course, the uh, grandiose James T. Kirk. Split decision here, folks. I absolutely loved it. It really tells us of a, a, of a foreshadowing of a perhaps a larger universe of what would it be like to have superheroes, superheroes plural, not just these three gentlemen, McAvoy, Jackson, and Bruce Willis. Was it problems? Were there problems in the film? Certainly, there were some problems going on. But for the most part, the acting, McAvoy is a, he is the beast. He is the beast as far as being an actual actor. This guy goes in and out of personalities like you would be slipping on a t-shirt in the morning. So, um, would I suggest that you see this? You have to see it. Let it be a split decision for your crew. Not going to give you too much, too much uh, too, not going to give you a lot about this movie, but for the most part, check it out. Check us out, like the video, again, afronerdradio.com, afronerd.com, Instagram, underscore afronerdradio, you know how that goes. And of course, our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, like it. That's it, peace out. Hello everybody, my name is The Captain, one time for Afronerd Radio and afronerd.com. I just checked out M. Night Shyamalan Glass movie. Now, this is what I have to say about it. I would say the first two acts in the movie were very proper. The third act was very problematic. But I give M. Night Shyamalan an E for effort for trying to do something different. He just didn't cow down and do the same superhero formula. What does that mean? Does that mean that it's a good movie, a great movie? No, not at all. <laughs> I would say, eh, but he tried to do something different. He tried to do something different. And I do not feel it is as bad as the critics say that the movie is, you know? Some of those critics are haters. You gotta remember, they wanted to be directors, actors, and it never happened, and it never happened. So <laughs> you got some of that going on in there. So overall, should you see this movie? I think you should give it a shot. Give it a shot to see what's going on and judge it for yourself. Don't be swayed directly by friends or critics. Come in and check it out, because we're in the superhero movement. Overall, eh, eh. Once again, I'm the captain signing off for Afro Nerd Radio, AfroNerd.com. You can check us out at IG, Instagram also. You have a tremendous day or night or whatever time you're going to see this. Thank you very much. I'm gone. <laughs>